Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining a viscous limited slip differential and how it works. Now the purpose of a viscous limited slip differential is the same as any limited slip differential and that's to be able to transfer torque to the wheels with more grip while also allowing for the tires to rotate at different speeds so that when you go around the corner the outside tire can rotate faster than the inside tire. Now how it achieves this is by using a viscous coupling within the differential. So basically, if you're looking inside of the differential, what you've got going on is these two uh, viscous couplings, one for each drive shaft. Now, inside of each of these couplings, it's basically a multi-plate clutch. So, a good thing to watch before watching this would be my video on limited slip differentials, my video on differentials, and also my video on multi-plate clutches. Now, so you've got these two viscous couplings, so what's going on inside of there is you've got the drive shaft in blue here, and that has these little plates coming off of it. And then you've got the differential housing in black, and that also has plates coming off of it. So everything in black rotates together, and everything in blue rotates together, and these can rotate uh, at different speeds, so the blue can rotate at a different speed than the black. All right, and within that, you've got this viscous liquid. So that liquid creates friction if the drive shaft is rotating at a different speed than the differential housing. So when would that happen? Okay, let's say you are driving and you stop and you have one tire on a pile of ice and or just some ice and the other tire is on pavement and you floor it. And this is a rear wheel drive car that we're sending the power back to. So when you floor it, you've got, so you've got your right tire that's on the ice and your left tire that's on the pavement. So what happens is the right tire on the ice, because it has less resistance, it wants to spin. Because this is basically an open differential until this uh, liquid creates friction. So the outside tire is going to start to rotate on its own quickly with this uh, differential housing. So there won't be a difference in speed between the differential housing and this right drive shaft. There will, however, be a different speed with this left drive shaft. So as this differential housing is rotating, it's pulling that liquid around in there with it, and this blue shaft is not rotating. So what happens is that liquid, the frictional force between uh, these two, the liquid inside of these plates is going to want to make this drive shaft rotate. And so that's how the torque transfers. It's all through that liquid. So you can, you can understand that if you have a thicker liquid in here, one that's very difficult to turn through, then you're going to have more torque transfer because you're basically going to be locking it up. Take it to two extremes to make it kind of clear. So if there was just air in there and you spin this thing, air isn't going to be able to turn this. So it's basically an open differential. Now if you put something very thick in there like tar or if you just sealed it up, then when you try and rotate, it's going to be so thick that it's not going to allow this uh, drive shaft to rotate at a different speed. So it'll force it to move at the same speed as it or close to it. And so by doing that, it's transferring torque away from the tire that's slipping to the tire that has more grip, thus achieving the purpose of a limited slip differential. 